Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, so I'm just out on a uh, little mini adventure today. I've got several different locations that I want to go to. Um, and the first one being is Hadley Castle. So it's a ruin on the uh, overlooking the Thames estuary. And uh, the conditions this morning should be quite good. We've got quite a bit of cloud up there, but uh, the light sort of diffusing few, free from the sun should uh, create quite good scenes looking down the estuary as well. So hopefully it should be a good day. Okay, so I've just made it down to the castle ruins now, but I've got a confession to make. Packing the car first thing this morning was not a good idea because I've forgotten my tripod. So it's gonna be a little bit more challenging than I thought. So first location I'm gonna really have to get, obviously handheld, um, maybe a couple of other locations as well, but then I'll have to uh, nip back home when it's a little bit more of a reasonable hour so I don't get too much trouble or too much grief and uh, pick up the tripod for the rest of the, for this mini trip. Okay, so I've got myself set up here just looking over at the two turrets or two parts of the tower that's remaining of the uh, ruins here at Hadley Castle and it's uh, quite interesting to actually get sort of two aspects and the tree as well, uh, maybe slightly bright with the sun obviously in the background there but uh, quite an interesting composition here. Um, obviously got it, had to increase the ISO as I forgot my tripod. So uh, shooting F16, ISO 400 and aperture priority mode as normal and then taking it forward from there. So I've got first image looking at the main turret here. As you can see, uh, using a little bit of foreground but trying to get obviously the mo most of the, uh, the sky as well. We've got, got quite a good sky this morning. Uh, try and get that detail in the sky as well. And then the second image that I've got is obviously the, the main turret, the slightly less of a turret, shall we say, and then the trees as well, and getting obviously the one, two, and the three in there as well, just to try and balance that out. Again, shooting F16 ISO 400. Hopefully it'd be good. So my next composition here is looking at using this part of the castle wall leading up to the turret on the opposite side of where I was shooting just now and uh, using it as quite a bit of a leading line up, up to that image again obviously trying to get more of the sky in as well um, want to cut out as, as some of the grass of the foreground and uh, hopefully work out quite a good image again um, F16 ISO 400 handheld taking it from there So I've just uh, come the other side of the main, main turret here 
and um, drop down a little bit to get a di slightly different perspective of this one. Um, using the path here as it's leading up to, to the actual turret as well, as a bit of a leading line, um, getting some of the, uh, the cowslip grass in there as well, which um, obviously add a little bit of foreground interest. And that's working out quite well as a, uh, a vertical picture. And um, again, obviously, may well consider processing that one into a black and white and uh, working out and seeing how that turns out. F16, ISO 400, handheld. So luckily enough, only turning a couple of degrees one way and you get a second composition down here as well. So this one's looking at the slightly worse for wear turret, shall we say, but again, also using the foreground, using the large tree or bush that's there as well. And with the angle that the actual turret is leaning in, which you can really sort of see from, from down here, you're actually getting quite some good light uh, cast onto the actual uh, brickwork as well, which you're actually be being able to br brought out Again, obviously trying to include a bit more of the sky um, and working out from there as well. Again, F16, ISO 400 and handheld. Kind of thinking that this is, might be the way to go forward. So I've just swapped over now to my uh, wide angle lens, 10 to 18 mil, uh, just so I can get more of the turret, but also the uh, estuary as well, Thames estuary. Um, looking out down there, across there, over, over to sort of uh, the uh, Lee South End area as well, which um, is my next sort of uh, port of call to, to go along to in a moment. Uh, but again, as I say, using the wide angle on 10 mil, uh, again F16, ISO 400, and then trying to get a bit more of that sort of uh, aspect in the landscape. So uh, working out quite well. So just done that location, uh, worked out quite well, got quite a few good images, um, a few that I didn't actually uh, give the settings to, but pretty much they were all the same to be fair. Um, as I say, having to obviously work on that ISO because obviously the handheld images. So uh, worked out quite well, I'll post up those in a moment and uh, off to location number two now.